subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon now so that you will be notified for all future video uploads hello everyone myself nidhi today i come up with very pretty and elegant neckline for kurti these types of neckline are very much in trend nowadays so let's begin i already cut kurti and sew it with the lining as you can see now for preparing a neckline take a fusion paper and fold it like this as i am making both neck so take neck width 4 inches and length also 4 inches then we will give boat shape for the neck now leave 2.5 inch space from here and draw a similar shape then leave 0.75 inch space again and draw this shape now we'll do the cutting After separating keep this part as we are going to make design according to this part only Then we'll cut this also We are going to use it for finishing the neckline Our neck comes in this way after finishing. Now, place this fusion paper over the lining and paste it with the help of iron. Now, place this part which I told you to kept before over the paper. You can take any paper, chart paper or newspaper, whatever you like. And mark the exact shape. then leave half inch space towards this side for seaming allowances and around quarter inch space over here for finishing then we'll cut it Now, leaving around quarter inch space, trim the extra fabric from this side. Then, fold it like this and sew it. Now we'll give notch at the center. Give 
small notch at the center of the kurti as well. Then we'll mark at the center of this part. Do the marking at the center of the kurti as well. Now we'll give a straight stitch at the center so that it won't move. Then we'll see you all around the neckline. Just very close to the fusion paper but not over it. Then leaving around quarter inch space, trim the extra fabric all around the neckline. Now give small slits. And turn it. Now we'll do the top stitch. And we are done with the neckline. Now we'll make a dory. For this, take a bias strap of around 1.5 inch wide and fold it like this. Then leave the space according to the thickness we want for the dory. And do the straight stitch. Always remember when we'll make a dory, the opening should be quite wider like this so that it become easy when we'll turn it. Now with the help of thread and needle, tie a knot at one end of the dory. And insert the needle like this to pull inside out. Our dory is ready. Similarly, make some more dory as well. Now we'll make the plain lace. The plain lace we'll make in the same way how we'll make the dory. The only difference is the thickness of the plain lace is quite more than that of the dory.
Now take the plain lace and cut it around 2 inch in length. We need around 8 to 9 of this. Now take this paper cutting which we cut earlier and marked over here leaving 1.5 inch space. Then take this plain lace and fold it like this to make loops. And sew these loops one by one over this marked point. Sew this very slowly and carefully as we are sewing in paper. Now insert this dory on the loop. As we have to sew this dory like this, so cut it accordingly. We need 8 of this dory. Now insert this dory on each loops. And set it like this that one dory overlap to other. And then sew it. Now we'll do the piping for finishing the neckline. For this, 
Take a bias strap of around 1.5 inch wide. Then sew it like this at the back side of this neckline. Now fold it once like this, then fold it once more. And sew it. While sewing, keep remember that the front side of the dory will sew just above the back side so that it won't visible from the front side. Now mark at the center of this neckline pattern. And place this kurti just above this pattern. Match the center and secure it with the pins. Then we'll sew it. Now remove this paper carefully. Then, leaving around quarter inch space, sew it once more so that it sets properly and nicely. Our beautiful and trendy neckline pattern for kurti is ready. Hope you like this video. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also if you have any query, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you.